Hello everyone and welcome to another video of my channel. From this video, officially I'm gonna start talking about the widgets. Uh, in this video, I will be talking about the widget button and I will show you how to use it. So if you are ready, let's get started. But please remember to subscribe the channel if you are new and hit the bell button to be aware about new videos. And if you have any question, write down in the comments below and I will be so happy to answer to your uh, questions. Thank you. Let's go. Here in activity underscore main.xml, we can uh, design the layout of the application. When we created the uh, Hello World app, uh, this text uh, appeared here. Uh, I'm gonna delete it for now. Uh, here I have the palette. Uh, the most common widgets are here, and here we have some categories. Uh, anything related to the text you can find here different kind of buttons layouts and uh, everything uh, anything related to uh, google and uh, so on i'm gonna drag and drop a button here into the middle of the screen then uh, let me show you here uh, we have a layout uh, it's called constraint layout inside to the uh, file uh, activity underscore main.xml and uh, now our button is inside uh, this layout uh, i have an error here and the app tells me uh, actually the compiler tells me that you should connect uh, the button to the layout uh, to uh, fix the position of the button into the application I can do it like this or maybe like this or this or this or maybe let me go back again by pressing this automatically it will be doing for us or again by right click on it and uh, press this or maybe this all of them are the same and if you want to uh, customize the position of the button you can click it hold it and uh, take it to any place of the screen that you want let's have it here somewhere in the center here in the right side we have the attributes uh, of the widgets different type of attributes are here uh, i'm gonna explain it to you uh, but the most important uh, parts of the attributes and uh, these are common between all of the widgets so uh, later on we can use them uh, to customize the other widgets as well the first thing is the id uh, i'm gonna call it btn uh, underscore test then uh, the next thing is the size of the button let me refactor it okay as you see the button is uh, small in the center uh, consider i want to have a bigger button i can uh, give the size here either match with the parent or uh, wrap content uh, sorry 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 i didn't click the button uh, here 
mice to the constraint like the width and the height also can be like that and now we have a very very big button uh, and it covers the whole screen and anywhere I click I'm clicking on this button let me take it back to the first size or if you want you can give custom uh, size for example 200 dp yeah, i'm gonna give a random size and this is the size that i want uh, or maybe i'm gonna put it on the mesh constraint again and as you see it's uh, stick to the uh, edge of the screen which is the uh, constraint layout if I want to have some space between the button and to the screen I can give uh, the margin uh, so this is the next uh, thing the next attribute that we can use margin I'm gonna search for it then I'm gonna open different uh, type of the margins are here uh, the margin starts uh, will give a space to the left side of the button for example 25 dp and here I have the space and to the end uh, will be the same or maybe this time another number 45 and I have the bigger space here into the this side uh, then the next thing that is important uh, here is the visibility of the button is visible now i can make it invisible or maybe gone by any purpose that we are using the button we can set the visibility here uh, i'm not gonna explain this then the common attributes for the button um, here we have the style of the button the elevation will bring uh, the button into the front maybe it will jump a bit high uh, and the background of the button can be changed here uh, the text of the button uh, can be changed here for example I'm gonna uh, change the text to click me and change to this I have an error here let's go to the text as you see here is written that there is no value uh, into the uh, string resources file uh, related to the text of this uh, button as I told you any kind of text that we have should be defined into the resources so let me press this and automatically it will define a value into the string file for this uh, click me here you can see it let's go back and the text changed to the at sign uh, a string a slash click me which is the address of this text and uh, here we have different things related to the text like the font family the size of the text the style of the text the bold italic and uh, any type we want we can use it uh, you can use the font as well uh, any different type of the font that you want uh, okay and uh, that's it for now it's enough uh, let's go back to the uh, main activity dot cut here first of all into the uncreate I have to uh, define the button so I'm gonna create a value uh, I'm gonna name it 
click me again find view by id what is the type of it it's a it's a button what is the id of it or dot id dot btn uh, test what is the meaning of this line simply we are uh, defining this button to the cut lane file the idea of the button was btn underscore text uh, sorry test uh, here is written and uh, is located into the resources file uh, package id and the type of is uh, it is a button and the name of it is uh, click me any name that you want you can write here no matter now i'm gonna use the function uh, set on click listener uh, to this button click me dot set on click listener what does it mean it means uh, check all the time the button and whenever somebody as the user click the button uh, execute any code that is written between these two brackets I'm gonna write the toast here The duration of it and let's show so uh, simply whenever uh, we are clicking the button this uh, toast should be appear on the screen let me uh, test the application Uh, here is the button click me and I'm gonna click it and you see BTN test is clicked this is the uh, widget button and uh, the main usage of any button is uh, to click on it and execute some codes and we are using uh, set on click listener for it or maybe uh, another common function is uh, click me dot set on on line click listener uh, i'm gonna copy this then long clicked okay let me test that by clicking btn test is clicked and by holding btn test is long clicked and another type of uh, clicking and checking the button is available on android system uh, during uh, creating uh, the layout you can connect it uh, to any function you want just by using attribute on uh, click here is it
delete okay now let's go to the code and more actions uh, create clicks that view in main activity you see we have it here and now I'm gonna use again a toast and btn clicked I'm gonna comment this line Here is our app, btn clicked, btn clicked, and the line clicked. So uh, this is uh, the different uh, functions that we can use to uh, check if the button is clicked or not. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you. Uh, for your thumbs ups uh, and the energy that you will give me uh, by your support have a good time uh, please remember to uh, subscribe the channel and share the video with your friends bye bye